It's Ken Island Days. It's going May 18th, and it's going to be the party of the year. And we're not going to let rain stop us this year, are we, Jack? Well, we sure hope not. <laughs> yeah. So right here we're Jack, and you're already yeah. ready. Yeah. So tell us about the event, Jack. What's I'm going ready. on this I'm year? I'm doing a dress rehearsal today. <laughs> um, Ken Island Day is our iconic annual celebration, really a rite of spring, celebrating the culture, life, and heritage of uh, Ken Island. Uh, started in 1977, special proclamation by the Lieutenant Governor, Blair Lee, and we've carried on each year. We've had a couple times over the years when uh, the weather got the best of us, but we're sure we got a good positive attitude, hoping and praying for good weather this year. It's a, it's a great event, opening ceremony right here in town, reading of our proclamation by one of our local elected leaders, and then a, uh, a grand parade coming right through town, starting over at the elementary school, coming down through town, and then winding on back. Uh, a great mixture of, of kids, political leaders, horses, uh, grand old antique cars, bands, and lots of other good participants. This year, we have the uh, Shriners coming back with their little boats doing yes. their kind of trick drill and driving in the middle of the parade. I love them. It's They're so all, much fun to watch. They're great. Um, again, the parade is wonderful. That starts at 10, comes down through town. Uh, and then the entertainment kicks off at uh, noon. We have our stage across the road here in the uh, county park, the pocket park, right next to the historic bank. And the on stage entertainment will include the uh, Chesapeake Bay Community Band, the uh, Stevensville High School, or Ken Island High School uh, Jazz Band, the Mattapique Middle School Chorus, uh, Remnant Gospel Choir, and several other really good groups. We're still finalizing what our entertainment is going to be. And then all of our open sites will be here. Sites will be open all day with docents. Right behind us is the historic Stevensville Post Office. And then the bank, the Cray House, the railroad station, uh, the caboose, you can come in, walk around. Uh, kids can climb up into the caboose and really get a good sense of what our history is all about here on Kent Island. Uh, some of the uh, food vendors we'll have that day will include Kent Island crab cakes, shake, rattle, and roll uh, with a variety of good uh, grill stuff. Uh, also, the um, uh, Jack Frost with uh, snowballs and ice cream and a number of other good good vendors. Um, really exciting display will be Dr. Darren Lowry with his uh, Kent Island artifacts. He did a, a major uh, archaeological dig on the island about 25 years ago and you would not believe the stuff that he was able to accumulate. Um, he'll be here with a lot of his artifacts from the island dating back uh, gee, 12,000 years and longer. Wow. Our Native American population and then many things from our uh, colonial population, yeah. uh, including uh, the very founding of the fort down on the island, uh, 10 Point, 1631. There was a fire there, and he has found some items from the result of that fire. Uh, pretty exciting, and we invite local folks. You know, everybody lives on Kent Island, at one point, you've been here long enough, you found something, an arrowhead or an old rock. Bring your stuff. And Dr. Darren will be very happy to look at it and evaluate it and let you know how old that piece is. We had him there here a couple weeks ago uh, for a uh, special meeting. And he was, we had over 100, 120 folks filling up historic Christ Church. It wow. was standing room only. Uh, archaeology is really an important part of our local history, and we'll be celebrating that that day. We'll also have our treasure hunters here with some of the stuff, the metal artifacts they found, metal detecting around Kent Island. Uh, we'll have our bl working blacksmith, uh, some War of 1812 reenactors, the uh, Chesapeake Independent Blues, and a drum and bugle corps from uh, Fort McHenry here to help us celebrate. It's a great day, uh, a lot of fun, a wonderful family event, and we invite all of you to come join the several thousand folks we hope to have here for Ken Island Day on Saturday, May 18th. That's right, since 1977, it's been a lot of fun, so if you've missed your chance, now's your year. We're gonna have a great time, lots of fun, music, food, and a wonderful parade. And I do wanna mention that uh, 
beginning, heading up our parade this year, our Grand Marshal will be Miss Nancy Cook. Uh, many of you know Nancy um, from her many years as a teacher here on Kent Island. Um, she is literally the spark plug of so much of what the Heritage Society has done and so much of what's happened in Queen Anne's County. And this is our chance to honor Miss Nancy and say thank you. So wave at her. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Nancy. <laughs>